Hello and welcome to my channel. It's a windy one today. I've just ducked down into this low area, a bit sheltered from the wind, but it's very windy today. I hope you're all feeling strong and well. I'm not feeling so strong. I had to force myself out today, especially with it being so windy and gloomy, but uh, the, uh, the dark days are, uh, are over. It's getting lighter. I can see that it's getting lighter now. The days are getting longer. And I'm really glad of that. Now, like I say, I'm shaking off a little bit of a bug. I've had it for about three weeks but I am shaking it off and getting out and about and into the natural daylight does really help. So we need to talk about a few things. Now I'm taking a slightly different route around, uh, around this walk uh, because there's a, there's a private shoot, a private pheasant shoot going on uh, way down there. So uh, I was going to go that way, but I, I'm not allowed to. So just to let you know, we are using the GoPro Hero 8, of course, and the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus and that hopefully is going to combat the uh, the really high wind that we've got here and sometimes i wonder why i've got so many different microphones and this is the reason because i've got all the choices and uh, this is the best one you can get i really recommend this microphone for anyone that goes into extreme weather extreme wind um this is a great microphone the rode video mic pro plus so talking about uh, microphones the uh, the gopro media module for the gopro hero 8 is out now and I ordered it immediately that I found out that it was available and uh, GoPro did have on their site uh, keep me posted at the bottom of the media module instead of adding it to your basket it said keep me posted because it wasn't available and of course GoPro didn't keep me posted at all I found out on YouTube from David Harry uh, thank you David uh, that the module was available and I have purchased it and I'm waiting for that to arrive can't wait to get my hands on that piece of shipping the end of January it says so I just can't wait to get hold of it and um, yeah, I hope that it's going to be absolutely fantastic. I really need that compact setup. But um, even with the media module, um, you're still going to need microphones like this, the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. I'm still glad that I will have the choice. And as a lot of you are saying, if it's as good as the Rode Video Micro, then we're in business. It could be a game changer. Uh, if it's as good as that, I'll be happy. Uh, but I'll still be carrying my other microphones with me like this one because there's no way any other microphone is going to cope with the high wind. But it'll be great to have the choices and be able to just put it straight onto that small setup and not have to bother with the mic adapter. I'm not going to miss that. So if you look back on some of my vlogs, I did attempt to just not use the uh, external microphone on the GoPro Hero 8. So I'm really happy that the media module is out. I can't wait for it to come. So what else is going on? Well, my tent has arrived and it's arrived a little bit sooner than I thought. And it's the, uh, the Lanshan uh, one man ultra light backpacking tent. So it's not the Lanshan one, which uh, you use the walking pole for, the walking stick. It's, uh, it's got its own little uh, pole system. And uh, I'll show you some pictures of it here because uh, when I first, uh, let me just turn away from the wind. Um, when I, uh, when I first uh, got the, uh, the tent in the post, of course, it came from China, Chinese writing all over it, no instructions at all. I looked online for that exact tent. I couldn't really find anyone that had actually put it up. So I found some similar ones. I think they're all the same, just different company names on them. But uh, I managed to uh, put it up in my back garden. So my first impressions of the tent were, yes, as it said, very small, very lightweight, and it comes in a nifty uh, little bag with a handle on it and these little clips around it. So really easy to uh, get in and out of the bag. Uh, quite impressed. So yeah, everything is there in the, in the bag. The tent, of course, the inner and the outer. The guy lines are all tied onto the outer already. And you've got the pegs and the poles, of course. Everything's there. There's even a little uh, puncture repair kit, like a couple of stickers that you can put over if you get a hole in the tent. So everything is actually there. So I was really impressed that uh, you don't need to add anything else. And it's really lightweight. Uh, now, look at this little house behind me. Let's go for a look inside. So who would habitate in a house like this? 
Woo! I am being battered by the wind. I can hardly hold the camera straight in my hand. The wind is that strong. Uh, but I'm enjoying the walk and I hope you are too. Now the tent was very easy to erect. I put it up in my back garden. You've seen some pictures of it there. I'll show you some more. And uh, yeah, very easy. There was no instructions at all. There was a little label with one of them, uh, one of them little things where you, uh, you scan it and it goes to a website, but it went to some sort of chat service for China, some kind of Chinese uh, version of WhatsApp. So that wasn't helping me out at all, but very easy to, uh, to put together. The, uh, the pulse system was easy. It's all together with a piece of cord that goes through it also. It all pulls together nicely. And uh, in, I forgot to say that in the bag there is actually a little, uh, a little uh, metal tube that uh, I think that is to uh, uh, help you uh, straighten any buckled uh, rods because, uh, well, I'll talk to you about the, uh, the quality of the tent in a moment. Okay, so this route that I've had to take because of the uh, private uh, pheasant shoot that was taking place today, it's been a lot longer than I thought and I'm actually losing light now. Uh, I don't know how the GoPro Hero 8 is doing in the low light, but we've got some rain on the way as well. So I'm taking a shortcut down this uh, little path here. Should get me down to the bottom a lot quicker. So my final thoughts on my first impressions of my tent, the Lanshan ultra lightweight uh, one man tent. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with how light it is and uh, how small it is. It'll be great in the backpack but I am left feeling after I've, I've put it up and it's in my back garden. It is getting battered by this wind in my back garden. It has been very windy. When I look at it, I'm thinking to myself, is that gonna survive uh, the Yorkshire Moors on a really windy day like today, a windy night? And uh, it doesn't fill me with any confidence, I've got to say. It all seems very fragile. Maybe that's what you get with the, uh, the lightweight uh, backpacking. Uh, would I have felt the same if I'd spent £400 on an ultra lightweight one man tent? Would, would it have felt the same? Would it have, would it have had the same uh, fragility? I think it probably would have done. So uh, maybe, maybe I've done the right thing by getting the Chinese one. Do I wish that I'd taken Border Rambler's advice and gone for the, uh, the Chinese website myself and got it at half price, something like 60 quid? Uh, yeah, I, I wish I had. I, pay, I think I paid £120 for this tent. Uh, I've just got it through Amazon, uh, but it, it came from China, just Chinese writing all over it, no instructions, like I said before. So yeah, I wish I'd probably got it at half price. It's not filling me with confidence. It feels very, uh, very fragile. Uh, the, the, the framework, the tubes, but obviously they're very thin to keep the weight down and the fabric is very thin and lightweight to keep the weight down. So uh, we'll see, I've got a long ways to go and I'll be trying it out on the moors and uh, I hope you're gonna join me for that. So maybe I'll fall in love with it. I just want to answer a question that was asked in some of the comments in my last vlog and it's regarding my uh, coast to coast. Retire and rehire life commented uh, on what am I gonna do for power, to power my camera, to power my microphone, uh, to, to recharge my uh, mobile phone? What am I going to do for power for the fortnight that I'll be doing the coast to coast? Well, uh, my decision was uh, the batteries are really essential. I can't, I can't be doing with no power. I want to uh, vlog the, the journey each day. So I decided that I would take one GoPro battery per day and that would be about 14 batteries and then a few for good luck and I thought well 20 batteries fully charged that should do me and if I get to charge some things along the way in a B&B &B or something like that then so be it but uh, 20 batteries should do it and I use one battery a day for this vlog I'll have used a full battery and no more so that's what I thought and uh, he replied uh, Rod replied with uh, 20 batteries how much will that weigh I never really thought of it because only tiny batteries. It really is raining now. I think a, a GoPro battery probably weighs about 50 grams. So uh, times that up, yeah, you get to you get to a kilogram. A kilogram, I think that's uh, something like just over two pounds. Two pounds, two pounds in weight that I'll be adding in batteries. That's actually heavier than my tent. So uh, it was a really good question. It's made me think now uh, how I'm going to go about it. Maybe I will uh, take some of your advice and uh, post things on and pick them up at post offices along the way. Or I might have my last meet me at uh, some points during that, that and swap out the, uh, the old batteries for some new ones. Yeah, it's made me think a kilogram of batteries. Yeah, that's, uh, that's heavy. Okay, so it is raining here. The weather, the weather is, uh, is getting worse. I've enjoyed the walk. 
I didn't feel a bit like it because I'm a little bit under the weather. Definitely under the weather here. Okay, so I'm going downhill fast now, just like the weather, it is starting to rain. So I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. We took a slightly different route, a bit of a longer route. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed your company, or of course I would have been all by myself. Now I upload a vlog every week, so if you've enjoyed this vlog and it's your first time on my channel, then consider subscribing. And uh, if you've got any comments on what we've talked about or any help, advice for me on the coast to coast, solo wild camping uh, and on lightweight tents, then uh, put them comments in the comments section below, of course. And until the next one, bye.